Hi, how's it going? This is Sebastian Bach, and I'm sitting here today on a very important record store day 2020, hanging out with all my close friends in the band Skid Row. Yes, here we are, hanging out, celebrating our big day. Today is the day that Slave to the Grind is released on vinyl for, for the first time since 1991. All right, this is super heavy for me, man. Slave to the Grind was the very first record in the history of Billboard magazine, heavy metal, to debut at number one on the Billboard chart. There's the Billboard chart. The first heavy metal album to go to number one was Quiet Riot, Metal Health, in 83. But it did not debut at number one. Uh, Pantera also came in at number one uh, a couple years after us. Uh, but I would say that Slave to the Grind is a heavy metal record. I don't think it's a, any other kind of record. It's metal. Um, so here is the first vinyl copy edition. Here is the unopened CD long box, still sealed. My father painted the cover to Slave to the Grind. He passed away in the year 2002, so it's very emotional to me to check this out here. Here's today's record store release. Okay, now I have to say, three copies, amazing. Wow, okay, that's pretty cool. Thank you, whoever put this out. Um, this release, I don't know anything about. I know nothing about it at all. This is a record company thing. Um, I don't know one thing about it. I heard that there's Extra, song, extra songs on it. I don't know what songs they are. I don't know what, who remastered it from what source, analog tapes, digital source. Did they find the original tapes? Who, who did all this? I don't know. So, what I want to do is check it out with you. Here it is. And let's see what, what it is. Okay. Okay, A Slave to the Grind, Record Store Day Exclusive, Deluxe 2 LP, limited to 4,000 copies worldwide. Okay, the bonus tracks are Beggar's Day, which is not a bonus track. Um, it was released on the original release, half of them. Holidays in the Sun is a cover version of the Sex Pistols. Uh, GTFO, Get the F Out, Live at Wembley 91. That's a source tape from maybe a VHS. It's, there's no source tape to that. Deliver the Goods Live Arizona. Um, that's with Rob Halford, whose name is not on here. Okay. I must say the, uh, the artwork looks pretty good. Pretty vibrant colors. Let's see what the deal is here. Okay. Take a close up, Deanna. Cover does look cool. See what's inside here. That's pretty neat. Um, here's the cover with top text here. Um, Vinyl reissue produced by Matt Block. 
I have no idea who Matt Block is. <laughs> Let me see something here. It's on red vinyl. I like the color red. I don't know if this is 33 or 45. It does not say. Uh, usually these are 45, but there's no information on that. Um, let's see the songwriting credits. See how they are. This is a really weird experience. <laughs> This is very strange. Here's the here's the original one. Bowl of snake. Okay, well, uh, that's cool that they didn't change the uh, songwriting credits. They're accurate. A lot of people say, oh. This guy wrote all the songs, this guy wrote all the songs. Well, I, uh, I co-wrote five songs in this record. And all you gotta do is read the credits and see that. Okay, so who... All right, I don't know anything much else about it. Um, it's very strange. So here you go. Uh, I guess... We will check out the sound now. But I'm re check this out. I'm reading the credits. Do you want to get a close-up? I guess someone didn't read this. Performer. Can you get us really close? Mm-hmm. Dave and quote the snake and quote Sabo. Okay, so we've got a typo on the gatefold sleeve. <laughs> I didn't know it was Dave and quote the snake and quote Sabo. That's cool. Um, I've just Googled the producer of this record, Matt Block. He's not a producer of any records. He is in charge of Get them before they're got, whatever that is. Run out groove. This is really nice on my dad's painting. It looks amazing. The producer of this record is named Michael Wagner. Uh, I don't know what records Matt Block has ever produced. Vinyl mastered. Let me see this. Okay, so we have Scott Hill on guitar. I don't know if that's the guy from Fu Manchu, but... Scotty Hill is the performer, and Scott Hill. I don't know which one it is. It's very confusing. Um, all right, so Levi Seitz is the mastering engineer. I would love to know uh, what source this record was made from. Well, I know the bonus tracks because there is no source of those, but uh, let's see what it sounds like. Who knows? Let's check it out. All right, everybody. We are here in 2020. This is the Slave to the Grind reissue. Red vinyl. Let's see what it sounds like. Check it out.
Okay, there was the 2020 edition. Now let's A, B that with the original. Okay, here's the original. Let's see what the difference in sound. 91 to 2020. Not touching the volume. Okay. Well, the sound of that guitar. That sounds good to me. So that was the 91 version. Let's check and not touch the volume one more time on the brand new remastered version. No, there's no. <laughs> it's not even. George Marino and Michael Wagner. No, forget it. Forget it. Do you hear the difference in that voice? Do you hear? No, this is not the original source. This is too compressed. This is not analog. This is not what Skid Row made. So I'm the guy that made this record with four other guys. Rachel, Dave, quote, and quote, Snake, and quote, Sabo. <laughs> Just joking. Scott Hill or Scotty Hill. Now what they do in the year 2020 compared to the year 1991 is they make records from a digital source. And to me, it's very obvious what I'm hearing right here. Uh, when I put on the original from 91, it has the feel and the sound and the excitement of the original music that we made to be recorded. So, my verdict to you on this is this. If you can, find yourself an original copy of Slave to the Grind that was released in 1991. But they are very hard to find. Um, I think it's cool, I think it's cool that this exists, but the sound is not on the same level of quality. The sound is not on the same level of quality as the original version. Uh, I would love to know 
the source of this, but playing it in my living room, it's clear that this is a digital source. Uh, Michael Wagner and George Marino and Skid Row have nothing to do with the sound on this album. Uh, but you're not going to find an original copy because they're very, very hard to find. So uh, maybe someday we can all team up and find the original source tapes of this record and make it for real. But maybe we won't ever get that chance. So um, this is an emotional experience for me. Uh, I never in a million years would have thought that somebody could make this without my involvement. But that's 2020. So, uh, all right, Record Store Day. Um, the live versions, I don't even want to know about. Uh, there was never any source to those ever anyways, other than a VHS tape or something. So if you can find an original copy of this record, I would recommend you listening to that. Um, if not, this looks cool while it's spinning around, and uh, the colors of the cover are pretty cool. Uh, but the sound is better on the original. Thank you very much.